Alright, so How to Train Your Dragon live action teaser came out, and I feel like I'd be missing out if I didn't voice my comments on it. So, as far as animation is concerned, they didn't butcher my boy, Toothless, the way I feared they would. But that being said, it still seems a very big question of, why is this here in the first place? Of the the first movie, I think, is perfection. Then, so I don't know why we are trying to recapture lightning in the bottle. Well, especially, it feels like so. I say this feels so soon, but then I realize this will be coming out next year, which will be 15 years after the animated came out. But almost everything aside from, I think, like, one shot in this, which is, where was it? Uh, aside from this establishing shot and this part, part, wherever Hiccup is here, here, everything is pretty much a shot-for-shot -shot recreation or attempt at recreation of the first film, which begs, for me, always beg the question of, if it's just going to be the exact same thing, why? And maybe it's a me thing, I have never understood the desire for live-action adaptations of animated things. Things with the exception of... If it's, like, the original animated was based on a book or something, and they want a live action that is either a little different or slightly more, more faithful, kind of akin to how Lord of the Rings had in animated adaptations. And, uh, and then we got live actions of those, and those were an improvement. Now, now yes, Tana Train Your Dragon is based on a book, but it is so far removed from the actual book itself that I wouldn't qualify it for this. Yes, there's there's names and locations that are the same, name, but plot-wise, they're vastly different. Uh, where we got? Yeah, we got Gerard Butler coming back as Stoic. Pick and. He looks all right, I guess. Yes. Yes. Where's the shot of him on the ship? There it is. Alright. I mean, yeah, I think it. I think he he definitely still does work. His live action stoic. Uh. I just noticed, it seems our northern vikings have gotten surprisingly more diverse since the animated version. Sure, that wasn't coincidence. Uh, just gonna, can we get a better look at that natter? Hmm. And when I first watched this, I thought it thought they looked fine. I'm looking at this natter design, I'm not entirely sure if I can't get a frame that's clear. Here, there's a mon there's a nightmare. Here, that one looks uh, all right. Looks more like just a straight up traditional dragon design. So, wait, is that a? Hold on. I can't. The perspective, I can't tell if that's supposed to be a terrible terror or a rumble horn. I think. 
I think that's a terror. Kind of big for a terror, though, is the problem. I wonder if that means we're going to get more variety of dragons in this. Uh, uh, the guy they the guy they have playing Hiccup he, up is all right. I guess I don't know. Oh, no, he's got like five lines in this trailer, or so I'm not sure if I can judge him. And looks wise, I think he's fine for the part. Hurt. I do kind of like. I do kind of like this version of. Uh, well, hmm, hmm. I'm gonna say like initially I thought I liked the costume. Now I'm taking like closer looks at it. I like guess this, this shot. I think his outfit looks fine. Uh, where is it? It's like, you know, it's got like the fur on the front, but not on the back. Not entirely sure why that is. He also upgraded his tunic to a, a hoodie. So interesting design choice there. Yeah, it's another live action remake that I've I don't know, like I said, I've never understood the desire for them. I feel like attempting this is a slap in the face of the original oh, which is, again, my favorite animated movie and I, know, I almost feel like some of these live action remakes are just a slap in the face to animation in general by the this weird need to make them. But yeah, I'm I will probably we end up seeing this this, but I'm not excited for it. I'm not Hopeful for it. Comes out on Blu-ray. Hey, I'm probably never gonna pick it up because I have I have had a training a dragon at home. And in an ironic twist on the meme, meme the at home version is better. But yeah, we'll I doubt you know it complaining will only do so much because it's is obviously far too down the pipeline that they aren't going to stop it. There's only so much, probably won't hear much from me about this. There's only so much complaining to be done. Just wait for summer to roll around. Because um, I think I noticed this past summer, theaters actually did re-release the original into new theaters as like a summer kids event thing. Being very low key, so keep an eye out for it. But next year when it rolls around, and and yeah, just show support for the original over this. I would say.